Hey YouTube, I'm dismantling my baby here, so I wanted to give a quick rundown of this battery pack that I made. Uh, it's made of 18650 cells, they're all 2000 milliamp hours, and or higher, I tested them. It came from laptop batteries, drill batteries, all kinds of recycled batteries. And um, here I've got my power leads here, and I've got a battery management system. I was going to use this for uh, my RV and my truck camper, and it's 12.6 uh, volts, three cells, but uh, I, f I feel like after making this that I should have made a four cell 16.8 volt battery, as um, if you want to use it uh, in a camper, the uh, I think the voltage is a little bit better. And I copied Tesla and Jehu Garcia's version of um, fusing every one of your single cells. And you can see here that each cell has its own individual fuse. And what that allows is for each one of these parallel packs, if one cell dies, instead of all the other cells dumping their current into them and draining the whole pack, what it does is it blows that and then that one cell is disconnected. I also put copper bus bars on that side. You can't see them on the shiny side, but uh, they're there on both sides, and that's for higher amperage loads. And then uh, up here, I put a voltage buzzer, and with this you can set uh, your whatever discharge voltage you want it to go off at to make sure you don't uh, overdrain your batteries. I personally, uh, with my BMS, I don't like to use it on the output, I only like to use it on the charging. And so that's why I have the sec separate leads here. So for um, if you want to just pull power off it, you can use it like that. And when you've got it hooked up to your solar, you can use it like that. And for solar, I recommend uh, Tracer 4215BN solar controller, because that allows you to adjust the voltages uh, on, on your uh, LCD display at a fairly cheap price. I mean, comparably, you'd be spending a lot of money for a solar controller uh, that'll do that from Magnum or one of the other, um, sorry, not Magnum, uh, Sunsaver or um, Xantrex or any of the more other more expensive brands that have solar controllers. So uh, yeah, that's my battery. It's, uh, I, I also have a sheet of plexiglass on top on either side and then I also have a sheet of uh, steel here that I took from a microwave casing and so yeah if you're gonna build a, one of these batteries do fuse all your cells I did it so this whole I don't need to didn't need to use any solder on this whole battery the um, the bus bars are held in by pressure with these uh, nickel plated strips you can get these for about um, I think it's 10, 10 meters for six dollars on eBay. These aren't um, these are nickel plated, so they're not full nickel strips. But I find they work really well. And I built a, a microwave oven transformer uh, spot welder. There's a lot of tutorials how to do that on YouTube, and and uh, that's what I used for each one of my fuses too. So each one of my fuses, <laughs> please forgive my really dirty fingers. I've been working uh, with my hands a lot today. Um, you can uh, use that to do your fuses and and uh, fuse your nickel strips to your batteries as well. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be dismantling this and using the cells for a different project because I haven't found much use for this battery. But uh, thank you for watching and I hope this has inspired you to do your own uh, battery recycling project. Thank you.